All right, this is an excellent FM receiving antenna. Works excellent with the video and audio transmitter I made. It's made out of coax, the entire antenna. It's very simple to make. This is a piece of plastic that I cut to act as like a T to join everything together. Just make sure you use coax. It has copper shielding, copper braiding. I'm going to post a link to the calculator that shows you how to make this. Make sure you remove all shielding in the center here. You just want the center conductor with the foam or the polyethylene insulator. Uh, the center conductor goes to the shielding on one side and the shielding of the feed line goes to the shielding of the element going this way. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take the shielding of this antenna and pull it to the center conductor and solder it. But this length has to be a specific length, so you have to make sure it's accurate. So when you solder the, the solder point from there to the solder point of here has to be a specific length for your frequency using the calculator I'm going to show you online. The ends are very simple. You can make a loop. So you can hang it up behind a TV or whatever else you want to do. You can put a rope through it. But you want to measure from the very, very end. That's the overall length. Not from, the, not from before the loop. At the end of the loop to this end of the loop is the overall length. You could use any coax. RG6, 8, 11. But you have to use the proper formula. Now I've tested this for receiving. It works excellent for receiving. Transmitting, I don't think it's that great, but as a receiving antenna, I don't think you're going to get much better. Simple to make. And it matches the radiating element, but this type of an antenna, you don't need a ballon. It matches up pretty good.